I am going to spruce up my profile on GitHub. And I think you should too. Let's go see how to do it in the easiest way possible. What's up, everyone? My name is James Q. Quick, and I do weekly videos on web development related topics. And a lot of what I talk about is from a career and getting into tech perspective. And I talk about uh, portfolios and resumes. And one of the things that's most important with that is your actual GitHub profile, the projects that you have on there, et cetera. So I came across a tool uh, called profileme.dev recently that we're going to use to actually spruce up our uh, profile on, uh, on GitHub. So one tip really quickly, just to make sure as people are uh, preparing for interviews and applying for jobs and stuff. One tip is to make sure that you have pinned repositories up here. So no matter how many repositories you have, make sure you pin the ones that you care about people actually using the most. So make sure you pin those, um, as part of your profile. And then we're going to get into this part and I haven't touched this in a while. Um, GitHub added the ability to uh, have this little profile part a couple of years ago. I did a video on it back then. And uh, I haven't touched this in uh, that long. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of experiment with with this and then use uh, profileme.dev. But before we do, let's take a quick second and talk about the sponsor of this video, which is Storyblock. Storyblock is a headless CMS that offers a unique combination of visual editing tools that are really, really nice and highly customizable content blocks for marketers on top of a modern headless architecture for your developers. So your marketers have everything they need from a content perspective, while your developers have everything they need to build fast and reliable digital platforms and applications. Now, the really cool thing about this is I will be creating some content with Storyblock over the next couple of months using some really popular frameworks like Astro, SvelteKit, et cetera, some frameworks that you'll see later on in this survey. And so keep an eye out on the channel for that content coming soon, but make sure to check out Storyblock with the link below and give it a shot. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll have a link to this, but it's at profileme.dev. Got nice light and dark mode. Cool. And let's go ahead and create a profile. And uh, it's cool that it just gives you all of these different um, kind of pre-configured things that you could use or not. So uh, name is James Q. Quick. Waving hand animation. Uh, yeah, let's keep that. Uh, that's actually pretty cool that it animates. I like that. Uh, subtitle, I go with uh, developer speaker and teacher. I think it's really cool for people to have some sort of tagline. It doesn't have to be like cheesy. It's not something that you have to advertise uh, all over the place, but some subtitle tagline thing uh, is useful for you to help define like who you are and what value you bring to a company. And so for me, developer, speaker, teacher, those are the three things that I've done professionally for uh, years. And those are the things that I want people to know when they look at what I do. I also have um, a longer one, like I teach developers through content. I think that's fun. Um, I'm not sure. I've kind of debated about having that be my subtitle uh, or my like tagline versus a long description. I also have a more traditional bio. Um, I may just do like an even shorter one, full-time technical content creator. I may keep this. So JavaScript developer, speaker, teacher with a passion for teaching developers through content that combines both of those things. He's a full-time technical content creator with years of experience in software development and developer advocacy. Cool. Um, I am in uh, Memphis, Tennessee, based in Memphis, Tennessee. See my portfolio. Uh, so this would be my website and then Z website. I've got shortcuts for all these things, but they already have the HTTP uh, and actually it'd be good if they did that, um, at HTTPS instead of HTTP, which would be interesting. Um, I do not want to have email on here. Um, I'm actually kind of debating about this cause see my portfolio. It's not really my portfolio. I may get rid of that one. Uh, and this is kind of cool. Like just taking away that text then removes that part. This would be a perfect opportunity though, for you to have your portfolio listed on here. Uh, contact again, I don't want to have my email, uh, currently working on. Uh, this is interesting because I like, I don't have good answers to these currently working on, uh, I can up to the update this later, but, um, let's do everything's felt. So this is a course that my, uh, co-host of the podcast and I are working on called everything felt, uh, currently working on everything's felt the, uh, everything you need to know about felt kit and super base which feels pretty long and maybe that's okay 
or maybe maybe we'll shorten this uh complete felt kit course cool uh currently learning i wonder if this is uh there's there's so many things i don't even know what to put here to be honest like everything javascript uh open to collaborating on this would be interesting for people like if you want to allow people to reach out to you and why would they anything else i'm secretly a spider what does this look like so just uh just an extra line there that's kind of funny uh the next section i think we'll get into uh what are some of the things that we're what are the skill sets that we have and some people think these things are cheesy i think it's actually like really useful so i'm gonna go ahead and just add a bunch of these i think just typescript and swift for me or not why wow, i said typescript and swift because that was there typescript and javascript uh front end uh just like across the board i mean this will be everything except not view not gatsby well i guess not as many as i thought uh sass tailwind yes bootstrap uh cool svelte 100 percent back in uh node.js express i haven't used fast api don't really use graphql i'm a fan of nest.js but i haven't really used it very much firebase oh they have an app right one that's cool uh roku so it's kind of a different uh interesting list there um and and by the way this is again like i think this is one of the things that is extremely useful for people is i recommend having some shortened abridged version of this on your resume that shows here's the languages and frameworks and things that you have experience with if you have those only listed inside of longer bullet points on your resume i think it's hard to to read and tease apart so i recommend having like a languages and tools section which is just a bullet point list on your resume to make that really easy for people to see uh, cool let's go through and uh, do these all of these are going to be james q quick um james q quick i don't have medium um, i don't use dev.2 as much this makes it super easy i can go through and just add all of these uh, what i would recommend is uh, people just make sure that the things that you add on here are stuff that you actually want people to see so if you have a social or something that you don't want people to go to like I have code pen, but it's not something I really leverage and, and take advantage of or like use often. So I would just leave that off. Like if you have things that are not going to be beneficial to your profile, go ahead and leave those things off. They're not required at all. Uh, okay, so uh, style badges, select a badge to continue. Uh, this is going to be fun. Uh, my GitHub stats probably don't care about that. Uh, Twitter follower count. That's kind of interesting. Uh, Twitch streaming status, that's kind of cool too. Uh, GitHub, yeah, I don't, I don't do enough with GitHub to like really focus on sharing stats for that. But the 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 Twitter follow and the Twitch status, not that they're not that I need them. That's it's kind of interesting. Um, I don't have a buy me a coffee, so I don't have that. Um, I don't have badges, so I probably need to get rid of that. Uh, so what you can do also is switch over to the Markdown version of this. So now you can just grab all of this text. And uh, I guess they have a copy as well. So there it is. I'm going to copy, go to your page. Uh, what you'll need to do is uh, go into that. Uh, oh, they have the little uh, video to show you how to do it. Go in and uh, edit that readme. So I'm going to go in. Let's see if there's anything I want to keep from this. Uh, maybe a fun fact and pronouns would be a good one um and then yeah i don't have i don't have a link on there for website which i could include so let's go i'm going to paste in and just kind of merge a little bit of this uh can i add in website as one of my maybe not uh without going through and actually doing some styling although i could list it up here something like that and this would come from Z website I've got shortcuts for all these things if you can't tell um, and then I said pronouns and fun fact I could also keep I think that's a good idea uh, I'm gonna keep my inspiration shout out for Brad uh, Brad Garrity is awesome he is actually uh, looking across a thousand subscribers on YouTube to get monetized go and check him out he is Awesome. He's honestly one of my favorite creators, uh, one of my good friends, and an admin inside of the Learn, Build, Teach Discord. So uh, go and follow Brad. And let's go ahead and make these fit there. Uh, let's go ahead. I guess we can commit that updated 
readme profile thingy and uh, commit changes. So I like the waving emotion emoji. That's cool. Developer, speaker, teacher, got my thing here, currently based in, got a couple of things here, got my fun fact, pronouns, et cetera. Cool, I like this. And then uh, skills and social, and then I uh, need to update. Um, I think he had a cool way, like variables, I forget exactly how that worked, where he had variables inside of here. Oh, they may have been, I think they were listed as like markdown variables, so they were at the bottom of the page. So let's go and add this just to make sure it links to Brad's page. That's not right. Why did that not? This is the fun thing with Markdown. Oh, because one of these is supposed to be the not square brackets, uh, but parentheses. Let's see if that worked. No, because I have an extra bracket. How many people spend half their life with basic typos and markdown? All right, that should work there. All right, so shout out to Brad. Again, go and check him out, follow him on YouTube. Uh, but I think this is a cool way to give your profile a little bit of pizzazz. Uh, if you go back to my page again, like that, it's, it's subtle, but it, it stands out a little bit. I think having the skills and the social stuff is helpful. Uh, I, I think it's just good to have a short list that people can see. I'm also thinking about like a kind of, I think I might get rid of the uh, follow and the Twitch status or at least move that down below. So let's actually see uh, where that got listed. I think it's this one. I'm gonna move that to be down below the socials. And then maybe, can I just add in another BR just to give it a little more space? Uh, no, not much space. Um, okay, I think one last thing that I'll do is just take the shout out. Oh, actually, I wanted that to be below here. Um, but I think I'm going to move the shout out up a little bit. So like right after this part, and then I shouldn't have to worry about the spacing on the bottom. So this is kind of cool too, because you can practice with uh, Markdown. And I think that uh, that looks good. So anyway, um, I highly recommend go ahead, going ahead. It's so easy. It takes a couple minutes. Uh, go to profileme.dev, add in some basic information about yourself. Be intentional about what you show on here. So everything that you show should be something that's actually useful for people that come and look. And I realize I've got another mistake on the website. You probably already saw this. Let's go ahead and fix this. So this again should be uh, these. Uh, and hopefully that will look good. So I would love to know... Um, what you end up doing with this. So if you follow along and go to profileme.dev, create a profile, send me a link to your profile and I will go and uh, check it out. I'd love to see the kind of cool information that people uh, think to include about themselves. I think that will be a lot of fun. If you have any additional tips, maybe for other people that are looking to improve their profile for visibility, for getting jobs, interviews, et cetera, throw those tips in here also. And then in addition, if you have any questions about how to improve your profile from a hiring standpoint, let me know that as well. Anything you have, put those in the comments below. Appreciate you checking out the quick video. I thought it was gonna be uh, a little fun one and hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next, next one.